Good morning, boys and girls. We are here at St. George Chaldean Catholic Church. We are in front of the Blessed Mother, and you also have the Holy Family in front of you to view during uh, the Divine Mercy. Mercy, excuse me. So today we are going to do the Divine Mercy. I need you to please take out your rosaries, and we're going to hold Jesus the part of the rosary and we're going to do the sign of the cross in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen the first feed you come to is this prayer you expire jesus but the source of life gush forth souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world O fount of life unfathomable divine mercy envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us O blood, blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. So the first bead we come to after that is the Our Father bead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The second bead is the Hail Mary bead. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So the following bead of the three in a row is going to be the Apostle Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of our bodies, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal <coughs> Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 
Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in and atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement, in atonement for, for our, our sins, sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Now the, the part where the Blessed Mother is, we're going to do Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Our last prayer, it's a closing prayer. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll be back, boys and girls, for our lesson for our fourth week of Catechism. Good morning, boys and girls. We are back at St. George Chaldean Catholic Church. We are sitting in front of the Blessed Mother and the Holy Family. Uh, we try to give you a different view every week. Uh, this is our fourth week of Catechism, and we are so happy that most of you are watching our video 
but tell your friends because we have a lot to talk about this week. So um, let's get started. So we're going to start with the church. Very fitting. We are in the church. So what is the church? It is all the people who believe in Jesus, like your teachers and I, like yourselves out there watching. We are the church. We are what makes up the church. Um, and w the reason is because we follow Jesus's teachings. Um, and with the church and with Jesus's teachings, we have the Holy Spirit with us that guides us. So it helps the church grow. Um, it helps um, us believe in Jesus. Um, so the Holy Spirit tells us that Jesus has what he has done. Um, it shares God's love with others by bringing us together. Um, it helps us to guide us to help the poor and the sick. Um, it teaches us to be kind to everyone. So basically, you have the Holy Spirit with you always. You have Jesus' love with you always. And by trusting in the Holy Spirit, you will be guided in God's love. So Jesus taught us to pray the Lord's Prayer. So we have done this in class, but I'm going to break it apart today for you because I think it's very important that you know the Lord's Prayer, which is the Our Father. When we talk about Our Father, we're talking about Jesus, okay? So when we say Our Father who art in heaven, Jesus is in heaven watching over us. Um, hallowed be thy name, his name, Jesus' name, thy kingdom come. So where we want to go, it's our drive toward heaven, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, that we live our life here, not just to get to heaven, but as we would in heaven, following Jesus' teachings here on earth, okay, will be our ticket to heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, which is the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. We should forgive others as Jesus forgives us. And how do we ask for forgiveness? Well, in the future, if some of you have had communion, you will understand going to confession. But for the younger children in grades K, kindergarten, first, second, um, they may not have had first communion, but you will work toward understanding what confession is. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So don't lead us to sin. So we pray this so we can be less tempted to sin, okay, by following the commandments. So amen. So when you have a church, you have a pastor. The pastor of the church, this church, is Father Abuna, Abuna Fawaz. Abuna Fawaz is the pastor of this church. He is the priest who is the leader of the parish. You have many, you are blessed to have many other priests in this church, which is Father Perrin and Father Kevin, but Father Fawaz, Abuna Fawaz, is the pastor of St. George Chaldean Catholic Church. And then you have a parish. This is called a parish. It's a group of Catholics who join together to share God's love. So we come to St. George every week to share God's love in our parish. Worship. When we worship, we are giving God thanks and praise, like we're doing here today. We are worshiping. We did a devotion, which was a divine mercy. We did, you know, a lesson which is also giving thanks and praise. We're worshiping here in your church. So what we're going to do is we're gonna talk some more about other um, teachings that Jesus taught us in the Bible. And one of them, before I pass it over to Miss Loretta, is 
to let you know that Jesus taught in the temple in Jerusalem. The temple was the holy place in Jerusalem where the Jewish people prayed. Um, so where do you pray and listen to Jesus's teachings? We pray here in the Chaldean Catholic Church. We pray at home. We pray in adoration chapels. We pray in front of statues. Okay, but where do you pray and listen to Jesus? Think about that, boys and girls. And I'm gonna now pass it over to Miss Loretta. So the apostles were chosen by Jesus to be the first leaders of the church and they carried out Jesus' missions of preaching the good news and saving people. And Jesus chose Peter to be the leader of the apostles. He was the head of the church and he became the first pope here on earth. Um, the word pope came from the Italian word that means father. And the pope is also the bishop of Rome. The word Bishop means overseer. The bishop led the whole church. Each bishop leads and serves a diocese. The pope, the pope and bishops carry uh, on the work of the apostles and leading and guiding and caring for God's people. The apostles' teachings and authorities have, have been handed down to the bishops, who are the leaders of the church today and they are the people who take the place of the apostles here on earth. Now, Ms. Claire, on to you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so again, um, a bishop is a priest. He receives the fullness of the sacrament of the holy orders. He leads and serves in a diocese. He teaches and leads worship in the name of Jesus. A priest is a baptized man who receives the sacrament of holy orders. Priests work with their bishops. The priest teaches about the Catholic faith. He celebrates mass. Priests help to guide the church. So like Ms. Nasrin was saying, um, our priests here are Father Kevin and Father Karen, and our pastor is Father Holas. Um, and also, what is the work of the bishops. The bishops are the successors of the other apostles. They teach and lead the church in their diocese. The Holy Spirit always guides the Pope and all of the bishops. He guides them when they make important decisions. Jesus Christ is the true head of the church. The Pope and the bishops lead the church in his name. The Pope is the Bishop of Rome. He's the successor to St. Peter the Apostle, the first Pope. The Pope brings the church together. The Holy Spirit guides the Pope when he speaks about faith and about what Catholics believe. So now Ms. Nasreen has a very fun activity for you all to do at home. So boys and girls, I need you to get a piece of paper out. It doesn't matter whether it's lined, whether it's plain, whether it's construction paper, whatever you have handy, and I need you to make a nice big square box. After you make the square box, I want you to think about yourself worshiping God with your parish. So again, parish is where a group of Catholics join to share God's love. So imagine that you are in your church here at St. George Chaldean Catholic Church, and in that box, you can draw the church and maybe a door where you show people sitting in the pews and worshiping God. And again, worshiping is giving thanks and praise. A word of worship is Alleluia. You hear that in and during mass and during prayer because that is a word of worship. So boys and girls, if you do this activity, it will be very fulfilling because you will look at that picture and think about what you are doing in the church, which is praying and worshiping God, which is what we should do every day of our life, not just during mass. So please, boys and girls, watch our lessons every week, pray with us, hold your rosaries, 
um, do a devotion for the world, for your families, uh, for people that are hungry and sick. Um, that is our job as um, Catholics, is to be missionaries, is to um, help those in need. And an interesting story, I know you love my interesting stories, is a person was calling out for help and they needed help for their four kids. It was a wife, a husband, and their four kids. They are living from hotel to hotel, living in their car. And when they reached out to the Chaldean community, the Chaldean community flourished them. They gave them so much that they don't know what to do to be thankful for. This is the time of giving, not receiving. So we should be thinking about others before thinking about ourselves. We are blessed to have homes, clothes, you know, um, doctors to go to, medication to take if we need it. So let's think about others, okay? And let's attend mass as much as we can, whether virtually on the TV or in person protecting yourself with a mask. Okay, boys and girls, we will see you next week. And Miss Loretta has something important to share. If you have any questions, make sure you comment down below and make sure you like this video and make sure you subscribe at the right hand corner of the screen. Thank you. We'll see you all next week. Bye. God bless you.